Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm diving into a topic that's become increasingly relevant since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, POTS, or Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome. This condition has been gaining attention due to its complex nature and the way it affects daily life. So what exactly is POTS? You might have heard about it in passing, but let's break it down. It's a disorder that messes with your autonomic nervous system, causing your heart rate to spike abnormally when you stand up. This sudden increase in heart rate can be quite alarming and uncomfortable. This can lead to symptoms like dizziness, fatigue, brain fog, and even gastrointestinal issues. Imagine feeling lightheaded every time you stand up or having trouble concentrating on simple tasks. Before the pandemic, POTS was already a challenging condition, but now cases have doubled, many linked to long COVID. This surge has put a spotlight on the need for better understanding and management of the condition. Interestingly, even top athletes like Olympic swimmer Katie Ledecky and rower Una Cousins have reported developing POTS after contracting COVID-19. This highlights that POTS can affect anyone, regardless of their fitness level or lifestyle. This shows just how widespread and impactful this condition can be. It doesn't discriminate and can significantly alter the lives of those affected. Now let's talk about exercise and POTS. Exercise is often seen as a double-edged sword for those with this condition. Exercise is often recommended as a first-line treatment, but it's complicated. It requires careful planning and supervision. For some, exercise can improve heart function and blood volume, potentially easing symptoms. This can lead to a better quality of life and increased energy levels. However, for others, especially those with co-occurring conditions like ME-CFS, exertion can make things worse. It's a delicate balance that requires personalized attention. Studies on the benefits of exercise for POTS are mixed. Some research shows positive outcomes, while other studies highlight the risks. While some find relief, others experience severe relapses. This variability underscores the importance of individualized treatment plans. This highlights the need for personalized treatment plans. Each patient's experience with POTS is unique, and their treatment should reflect that. Just because exercise works for one person doesn't mean it will work for everyone. Tailoring the approach to each individual is key. Managing POTS effectively requires a balanced approach. This might include a mix of lifestyle changes, medical treatments, and supportive therapies. Many patients find that a combination of medication and modified exercise routines works best. This holistic approach can address multiple aspects of the condition. Medications can address underlying conditions and make exercise more tolerable. They can help stabilize heart rate and blood pressure, making daily activities more manageable. It's all about finding what works for you. Each journey with POTS is personal, and discovering the right combination of treatments can make a significant difference. Remember, open communication with healthcare providers, understanding your personal limitations, and advocating for your needs are crucial. Being proactive in your care can lead to better outcomes. Living with POTS can be challenging, but with the right balance of treatments, you can lead a fulfilling life. Thanks for watching. We hope this information helps you or someone you know. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and share it. Your support helps us reach more people who might benefit from this information. And if you want more health-related content, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more updates and tips on managing various health conditions. See you next time. Take care and stay healthy.